Asics make some of my favorite trail shoes. So imagine how excited I was when they brought out a new trail shoe that features flight foam turbo and a carbon plate. You're a waterfall, I'm a fire. No surprise we don't go together. But it took us a while before we figured it out. What a shame. I'm not asking you for closure. I just wanted to be over. We don't need to break up if we were never. and welcome to 40 Runs. My name is Chris Ford and I'm a running and athletics coach based here in the UK when I'm not coaching runners, I'm making YouTube videos about running and running shoes. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about a brand new trail shoe from my friends at Asics. Now, why do I call them my friends? Well, anybody who makes very good running shoes is a friend of mine. And when it comes to trail shoes, for me, Asics make the best. Now, if you didn't know, I'm not a very good trail runner. I don't do a hell of a lot of trail running, but when I do go up on those trails, I want something comfortable and I want something fast. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about these, the brand new Meta Fuji from ASICS. Now, like I said in the open, this features the very exciting flight foam turbo and a carbon plate. We'll come on to that in the stats and features. So we are gonna talk about the specs. Uh, I'm gonna tell you the things I like, things I don't like in this shoe. We're gonna talk about some of the other shoes that I reference uh, with regards to this shoe. And I'm gonna wrap it all up at the end and tell you exactly what I think about this trail shoe. So yes, I don't do a hell of a lot of trail running. Uh, I've been lucky enough actually in this uh, last couple of weeks since I got back from holiday, I did a nine mile trail run and I've done a four mile trail run and both of those runs I've used that shoe. But I am mainly based on the road. So I wanted to give you full transparency at the front end of this video about my trail running expertise. Long story short, I don't do a hell of a lot of them and I'm not very good. But I enjoy them and I think it's a really uh, amazing thing when you're up there. I absolutely love going up there. If it, for me, it's more of a time thing than anything else. I just don't have the time to get up there. And when I'm pointing that way, it's because Broxbourne Woods is over there. But when I do venture on those trails, like I said, I want something that's comfortable and I do like something that makes me feel awesome. Now there's two shoes from Asics that I tend to use in the trails. Now the first one is the Trabuco Max and I recently ran that at an endurance event and I absolutely love that shoe. And the second trail shoe that I really love from Asics are these. Now this is the Fuji Speed 2 and the reason I love this is because it just feels epically fast on the trails. Now as a reference point in terms of the trails, I'm basically on like those fire paths, woods, that kind of stuff. I'm not in anything like technical or anything like that. Which is why I like this low slung uh, flight phone blast version with the carbon plate in it. It's really light and it just makes you feel like nimble and fast up in the woods. And that's why I love this shoe so much. Which brings me nicely on to the new shoe. Because this features the Flight Firm Turbo, which is what we had in the old version of the Meta Speed. So they've taken the sort of premium Piba foam from their race day shoes on the road and they've put that in their trail shoes. Right, so what do we have here? So we've got a two foam setup. We've got the Flight Foam Turbo on the top and then we've got the Flight Foam Blast Plus down on the bottom. You've got this super awesome Creel mesh upper on the shoe. It fits true to size. You've got these amazing laces, which are like the ones that are on the Brooks at the moment. For all my US friends, this shoe is $250. We've got ASIC grip on the outsole with three to three and a half mil lugs. Sandwiched between the two foams, you've got a full length carbon plate specifically designed for the trails to add some stability in there. You've got a gusseted tongue, uh, which helps in terms of the lockdown with these amazing laces. And the shoe weighs 281 grams. Now for reference, I'm gonna weigh the Fuji Speed two, that's 273 grams. We've got about 40 mil of stack, I believe, in this shoe. And I think that's about it in terms of stacks and features. Okay, so let's get a little bit more detail. So hopefully you can see this amazing upper on the shoe. It really is super breathable and awesome. I love the design of this part of the shoe. I just think it looks cracking in this colorway. And ASICs were really kind because when they sent the, through shoe, um, the shoe through for a review, they also sent some kit, which has got like this, I don't know, it's like beach color with like this fluoro on it. It looks awesome. The laces are brilliant on this shoe. They're like the uh, Brooks ones with those little notches on. So the lockdown's fantastic. The heel area is good. Uh, the width of it's not overly wide, but you, because of the plate, you don't really have any stability issues. There's the lug patterns. See that? In terms of the design. So you've got ASICS grip on there, three to three and a half mil lug. So there's nothing like 
mega deep or anything like that. But for me, as the stuff I run on, it's absolutely fine. You can see a little bit more detail in terms of the foam on this side, how much flight foam turbo you're getting uh, with the flight foam blast. And then you've got the plate running through there. See that? And overall, like I said, no problems with fit or feel of the shoe. It's comfortable, fits true to size, no rubbing on anything like or anything like that on the runs that I've done in it. Although they're limited in terms of mileage, but that's roughly kind of what I do in the trails, really. I might do a sort of medium distance one and the other stuff is around that sort of three to four miles. Okay, so let's move on to the things I like. Firstly, I like the fact that it's got flight foam turbo in it. I like a carbon plate in the trail shoe. I actually like the dual uh, setup of the foams. That works well for me because you've got that sort of more stable-ish foam underneath to balance out the ride. I love the fit and the feel. I love the laces. I love the upper. I love the amount of foam around here to make it comfortable enough. And for me, it's got enough grip on the outsole. I like that as well. I like the weight and I just like the, the feeling of speed that you can carry in the shoe. So let's move on to the ride. So the ride, as you would expect with the Flight Foam Turbo, is propulsive. It works very well with the plate. The fact that you've got the Flight Foam Blast uh, Plus underneath, as I said, helps iron out the ride so it's not unstable. You can like bob, weave, run around, jump rocks, jump logs, you know, all that sort of stuff that I kind of do up in the trails. You can kick on on some of those fire paths, so you can hold good pace in the shoe. Again, I'm not looking to set the world alight up on those trails, but I like to have something that can make me feel fast and bob and weave and basically, well, keep me upright. And I get all of that from this shoe. I like the stack height. It doesn't feel 40 millimeters in stack height. It feels really nice actually in terms of uh, the geometry of the shoe. And that's probably about it in terms of likes. Oh, I love the way it looks. Okay, so dislikes. For me, the price, $250 is outrageous. That's the only real disappointment with the shoe. I think the price is, is very hard to swallow and very hard to justify. Now, I appreciate this has got the premium flight foam turbo uh, foam in it, the Piba foam in it, and you've got the carbon plate in it. So you are going to find a premium level price for it. It is a premium product. It's built well, it's made well, and it's got all the sort of top end stuff from ASICS in it, but $250, it's a lot of money. So that's the biggest downfall of this shoe. So honestly, if I had to spend $250 of my own money, I wouldn't buy the shoe. I just couldn't justify it for the amount of trail running that I do. So that's the honest, uh, sort of feedback on the shoe. Do I love the shoe? Absolutely. Is this now my go-to trail shoe? Absolutely. Uh, does it replace the Fuji Speed 2? 100%. I think this is brilliant. I really, really have enjoyed running in it. Okay, it's only been two runs, limited mileage, but that is the sort of runs that I do in the trails. But I can't recommend it at $250. If you have $250, then you buy this shoe. It's brilliant, but it's a lot of money. And most people don't have that sort of money to spend on a trail shoe. So look, uh, to sum it all up in this short video, I think this is a fantastic trail shoe. It's now replaced the Fuji Speed 2, which I absolutely love. It feels fast, it feels nimble. I love everything about it. The Flight Firm Turbo, the plate, the grip, the, out, um, the upper, the outsole, the laces, everything in terms of package, it's brilliant. It's my new go-to trail shoe. But I've been lucky because I've been sent the shoe. At $250, I can't recommend it. But if you can afford the money then you buy it okay people so there we go honest as always uh let me know in the comments are you interested in the shoe tempted in the shoe how much trail running do you do can you justify the money on that shoe because if you can then you're going to get a brilliant shoe and i suppose that's the point isn't it it's like i will go out and spend 200 pounds on a road marathon racing shoe or half marathon race shoe. i've got no problem spending that money because i'm on the road but for me i couldn't justify spending that on the trails but if you're a trail runner and you want that race day shoe and you don't mind spending that then yeah that is the shoe to buy you know and i can see how that works and i can see why asics I've priced it there, and that makes sense. But as I said, for me, I'm very lucky. I've been sent the shoe by ASICS, so thank you very much to the guys at ASICS. I really do appreciate it. And it is now gonna be my go-to trail shoe, without any doubt. But I am sad to see these go, because I absolutely love this shoe. Okay, people, that's it for me. Don't forget to subscribe before you finish this video, and I shall catch you all very soon. <laughs>